Welcome everyone to the world of the International Fab Talks. It's always a joy to connect with several unsung heroes across the world for all the experiences and the wisdom that they have acquired till date. And today we are being joined by a very special celebrity and guest all the way from Mysuru, a beautiful city in Karnataka. Sir is joining us from there and guess who is he? He's Mr. K. Ramesh Babu. He is a retired general manager from the State Bank of India. And he's here joining us to share his experiences as to how he has overcome all the challenges and the different aspects that he's connected with now. Join us, friends, to welcome our celebrity and guest is Mr. K. Damish Babu. Hello, sir, and welcome to the session. Thank you. Thank you, madam. I am also very happy to join you. Thank you very much, sir. You have a lot of positive energy. We love people like that. And we'd like you to share all the experiences you had. You had a tough journey. But still, you've overcome all the challenges, and today you're here to share your knowledge and wisdom with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. Dear sir, I'd like to go ahead and share your profile in an official way with your permission. Sure, sure. Yes, dear. Thank you, sir. Friends, it's always a honor and privilege for us to share the profile of our celebrity and guest. Sir has a rich profile. And friends, we'd like you to for share this video with different kinds of people. You never know who, who would be impressed or who could be inspired by what is going to be shared today on the International Fab Talks. We always bring people over here to share their experiences as to how tough it was for them. And nothing is easy for anyone. It is quite tough for everybody. So the youngsters out there, if you think that life is easy for others or it has been easy for others, you are wrong. Everybody faced the ups and downs. It's only how you decide to take your future ahead that makes you a successful person. So here with us, we have now, as I earlier mentioned, is Mr. K. Ramesh Babu, uh, General Manager, retired from the State Bank of India, dear friends. And sir has been working in different cities now. Sir was also working in Mysuru, Hyderabad, Bikaner, Jaipur, etc. With regard to the State Bank. And he retired as the General Manager from SBI Lucknow. After retirement, what after retirement? So, sir has been very busy after retirement. He is focusing on post-retirement journey. That is, he's very happy staying with his wife in Mysuru, Karnataka. His son and daughter, daughter-in-law stay in Bengaluru. And after uh, retirement, sir is focusing on teaching. Teaching is sir's passion. And he's having this beautiful concept called as walking laboratory. It's really wonderful. I'm really impressed with that. Walking laboratory and to what it is, let's get to know. Sir visits different schools, especially the government schools, and demonstrates different kinds of experiments, more than 50 exp experiments as per the 10th standard syllabus, the Karnataka state syllabus. So various schools, sir, goes over there and demonstrate the different experiments that are very useful for 10th class students. And at an average, sir covers about 100 schools per year. That is really wonderful. And it is awesome to have people like that giving back to the society post-retirement. Sir also takes several sessions for candidates appearing for bank exams. If at all you want to at attempt any bank exam, you need any guidance and help, you can connect with sir. And sir takes sessions for college students as well on banking-related topics. And you know what's the best part of it, dear friends? Sir does all of this free of cost. He does it with a huge open heart and like, you know, a large heart, wanting to give back to the society in the right way. And sir's academic qualification, he has completed his MCOM, professional qualification, CAIIB. Both the parts have been completed. And sir has a certificate in industrial finance and banking oriented uh, with regard from the Indian Institute of Bankers. Banking oriented Hindi from Indian Institute of Banking or the bankers, it is to get that right. Now it is called as Institute of Banking and Finance. So that's really nice. And the Honorary Secretary of India Institute of Bankers, Kolar Center from 1992 to 1994. So joined the bank even before completing his graduation. And there is the beauty of a person, a youngster. All youngsters are different. They're not the same. So this youngster at that time, you know, he joined the bank even before his graduation for his talent and skill. And uh, at the age of 16, the tender age of 16, sir began his journey to earn for his bread and butter. He began to earn at the tender age of 16, working at different companies as a daily wage worker. That is very impressive. From a daily wage worker 
to the height of a general manager in the State Bank of India. Hats off to you, sir, for that beautiful journey. And that's what makes you special. And all those children who are struggling outside, the young girls and boys who want to give up on their life, who are in depression. Can you see this person who has overcome all the challenges right from the tender age of 16 till date? And even after retirement, sir, is, you know, giving his very best to the universe. This is called living a complete life. And sir has completed his BCom from uh, Sri Venkateshwara University, external candidate, and MCom from Madurai Kamaraj University, external candidate. No matter if it is a regular process of your education or through distance, you still can make yourself a successful human being if you have the desire within you, like our special celebrity and guest K. Ramesh Babu. Join us, friends, to get to know more about sir on this beautiful round called as the main round of the interview. So, it's very impressive to know that you began your journey at the age of 16. That really uh, is very impressive. Now, people would be eager to know as to how you started this journey at the age of 16 and who is the real K. Ramesh Bhav. Over to you, sir. Thank you. See, whatever reason it is, okay, ours is a middle, medium class. Yes, normally lower middle, lower class, middle middle class, and higher middle class. So I was also a middle middle class. My father was in postal department. My mother was also a teacher in a private school at Chitur, it's around the parish. Then of course my father used to get transferred to some other different places. And whatever again, we were four, two sisters and two brothers. And whatever reason it is, after my PUC, that is intermediate, that's what we call it in other parish. I was taken by my father only because he came to know about one operating machine. It is called a scomptometer. It's a calculating machine. From both horizontal and vertical, there will be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Again, 1, 2, 12. Like that. And you have to use both the hands to operate the machine. That is called a scomptometer. Now, of course, it's not that. After computers and all, I have to calculate. But those days, it was there. And my father took me to one company by name PM Ganeshan Company. There, this computer training they used to give. It's a four month course. The beauty part there is after getting the certification from that particular agency, they also undertake to send us to different companies whenever the companies require us on a daily wage basis. Hence, in, after completing all we will be going to that company and we will be sitting there practicing the machine operation. And yes, so in case if any vacancy comes from any company, there will be some few, several people will be there, 10, 15, 20 people will be there. Depending upon the necessary and requirement, we will be set. Hence, again, I am telling you, I was at the age of 16 at that time. And I worked in several companies those days. Standard Battery, Dunlop India Limited, Handloom House, several companies, Compton Greaves. What is this means? It's only daily wage. If I get an employment and if I am asked to go there, I will be given six rupees per day. In case if it is inside Chennai, this all in Madras, this in Chennai. If it is outside Chennai, outside Chennai means 15 kilometers away from Chennai city. There I will used to get eight rupees. This is uniform or whatever we earn, it may be for two days, three days, five days, ten days, ten percent of the amount to be given to that particular company. So that's the type of training come employment exchange, like that. Hence, overall, and after five, six months, we used to get for 10, we means the entire group, maybe for 10, 15 days, we used to get our wages at 60 rupees, 6 into 10, or 8 into 10, whatever it is. And room rent, four people joining together, some 60 rupees, 15 rupees in the room rent. Then again, morning, frankly speaking, I used to have one bun, which cost 25 paise. And lunch, which used to cost 90 paise. In case if I take curd, it will be 1 rupee 10 paise because 20 paise is caught me. I was not taking. Like that, the life started. Afterwards, in between, when the calls used to come and we used to go, sometimes we used to get for a full month also. All of a sudden, again, why I am talking about State Bank of Mysore is all of a sudden, one day, the State Bank of Mysore people also wanted a computer operator that is called as Comptist to their office in Bangalore. I never saw Bangalore building all those things. From Chennai or Madras, I was deputed to SBM for that particular, because those days, where, whenever I worked, whether it was standard batteries, they never asked us the circular, uh, our qualification certificates or not. They used to only take a letter from our company. We used to go there, show the letter, and 
So you are permitted to operate, come back, so take the salary and come back. But when I came to SBM Bangalore, I went to the third floor, which is at that time central government, central government department was there. I went there. One by name, Pramalata, one madam was there. She asked me for the certificates. Then I showed my certificates. Then she said, no, no, you are underage. We can't take you to the back. You are underage. You can't work the back. Hence, I went back again from Bangalore to Chennai because there it is my bread and butter. I will be getting in case if I lose one day, I will be losing an opportunity to work somewhere. And hence, again, I went back to Chennai. I was working there. Again, like this. Then, when exactly at the 18th, when once I completed 18 years of age, this Indian telephone industry is at Bangalore. They called for the same operator. And of course, they, they require certificate also. And a consolidated salary of 350 rupees. And so again, from Bangalore, uh, from Chennai, I came to Bangalore. And I was working there for three, four months. In the meantime, the State Bank of Mysore called for uh, recruitment with regard to the banking exam. And then, luckily, again, I never expected that I will come back to the same building, same floor again. I came back to State Bank of Mysore. Luckily, I got the job. I joined the bank. And of course, I grow with the bank. Really, I am very happy that I never expected that I will be going to that stage. But it is really a great journey. But that two years of period was really a very difficult period. But see, again, as you were telling in my regard to my profile, I was not a graduate. And so when I joined, it was only, I have to do only uh, extra as a still candidate. Now, of course, my brother is nowhere now. My brother used to come to Chennai after my working in the evening, late in the evening, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, he used to sit with me and he used to teach me. This is what you should be, this is what the accountancy is, because I was doing, I, have to become, I know nothing I know about to become. He, ah, this is what very important, this is how you should be, this is very important, this question is real, this. Like that, he actually taught me for become first year and second year. That's how the journey went on. Of course, God was great with me and he is great now also. And we are actually going forward. This is how the, my journey was between 16 to 80th year of age. And once I moved to bank, again, here, the, if, we, if you are a non-graduate in a bank, you will not be given two increments. If you are a graduate, your salary will be increased by two increments. Hence, my idea was only to get that increment. See, again, here, every time I used to have my own goals, my immediate goal when I joined the bank was I should complete my graduation. The only purpose is I will get two increments. Because my neighbor, uh, my co-worker, who was a graduate, she used to get 606 rupees, whereas I used to get 547 rupees. And that 60 rupees, I don't want to have the difference. For the same work, both of us are doing the same work. And hence, I was actually aiming for becoming a graduate so that I can get that done. And like that, for every step, I used to have some goal. Okay, now CIB part 1, I have to complete it. Again, CIB part 1 means one increment. CIB part 2 means two increments. Yes, so many increments I got. Then the officer, like that, one step. One. Always, I used to think the two steps ahead of me. If I am in one stage, I used to take the third stage so that I can work for second and also third. If I go for third stage, I used to work for the fifth stage. That is how I actually moved steps. I took my steps forward so that I, okay, God's grace, I reached the, the stage which I never expected to be. <laughs> this is how the journey started. Okay. <laughs> Everything is good, doing well. Excellent, sir. Impressive, very impressive. And I like this, you know. Uh, you said like you wanted to get the increment. Yeah. Yes, that is impressive. And so then you completed your graduation. That's really wonderful. So I see you as a very hardworking person right from the start at the age of 16. If you are able to get that much of maturity that I need to start earning I need to start having money of my own and not be dependent on my parents. That's a beautiful way to begin your journey. But today's youth, you see, they are very dependent on their parents. Even after marriage, they are dependent on their parents for finances. They are not taking up the responsibility of looking after themselves and becoming financially independent. So I would like you to give a word of, or a beautiful message or a word of caution to, for them. Like, don't waste their time. And if wasted time never comes back. 
So from the experiences, we'd like to give a wonderful message for all of them. First, because after post retirement, I am moving to schools, colleges, and so on. First, the basic requirement is discipline. The discipline is very much required, which is for in the present day scenario, the present children we are not getting. Maybe we are a world school of thoughts and maybe the discipline and the punctuality, these together it goes together. This, if it is there, see, hard work is different. First, you discipline yourself. What should I do? Then the aim, then the goal. First, discipline and punctuality, if you are proper, then automatically your planning and commitment will come. You have to actually identify what is your goal. As I told you, I identified my goal and as increment that was the goal at that time. Then later stages, my goals actually get changed. It, it, you can't have the same goal for 30, 40 years. Whenever you have a goal, you should have a commitment to the goal. First, you can't go on changing this goal is not working, okay, then leave it and go away. You have the commitment to goal is should be there and you have to break into several parts. Maybe two, maybe five, maybe 15. And small, small things you have to take and the hardest goal among the goal among this 15, 20, 10, which is hard to get, which is hard to really solve, that you have to take at the first. With regard to solving the problem, if it is a stress, it's a different issue. But if it is solving a problem, you have to take which is the most difficult aspect you take first. Even the examination, you take the difficult question and write the answer first. Because you will be taking more time for that. Which is very easy, and you can write it in quarter way. And hence, take decisions, take which to be taken, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I will take the first five, fifth one, and then complete it. Complete the hardest problem, and then other problems will solve. But you should have the aim. Without, <laughs> without having a aim, you cannot succeed. Yes, as you said, people are independent. People feel that they can't do. See, those days also unemployment was there. Today, unemployment will be there. After 15 years, also unemployment will be there. Provided you really want to really do, you have a lot of impact. Nowadays, you have employment opportunities are more because of technology, because lots of things. Only thing is you should not fall into the fraudulent ways. Otherwise, <coughs> otherwise, you have lots of opportunity in at home sitting you can actually do. All these are with I can't do, I will depend. But you should have it. after one way, definitely you should feel that yes, I should part, I should get the things done, I should have. If that is there, then you can comfortably move. The aim is a must. Without the aim, you won't enter into any of the areas. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for sharing that beautiful message and making it very clear. So now we'd like to know about the walking laboratory. Now, this is really beautiful. And the word, you know, this beautiful phrase, walk, walking laboratory itself is very impressive. How did this begin and how far have you taken this journey forward? See, actually, in the year 2018, one of my friends, he retired and he wanted to start this particular event. And uh, of course, uh, if you train, we, of course, at that time I was not retired, only over four we used to contact and tell, okay, this is what we let us do. Hence, it was in a very primitive stage. Then after my retirement, when I came back to Mysore, uh, Mysore is a small place compared to Bangalore. And then so what I did is, I purchased all the required equipments. Of course, these all I got it done by one of the organizations from Bangalore. My friend also helped me. We got it. That is only related to 10th standard syllabus of Kalanta. Hence, I have Almost some 11 boxes are there with me in my house. 11 big, big boxes. And all the required equipment will be kept. In my car, when I go to a school, except to me as a driver, there will not be any other place to keep because I have to keep all these boxes. I have a projector. I have a uh, okay, laptop will be there. I have a uh, uh, screen. All those things I only carry. I don't take anything from the school. Then uh, uh, extension card, because earlier days extension card used to be a small one I used to take. But at that time, generally government schools, they don't have electricity power in all the rooms. Only either the headmaster room or in the kitchen because they serve uh, lunch here. 
Hence, I used I have to get the correction from that particular end. Hence, I got it that one. I got it big one. And now what I do is earlier days, of course, initial stage, I went to the BO office. They gave me the list of schools. Some schools they accept, some schools they don't accept. Though it is free, of course. Actually, my wife also used to come with me. But somehow after the first year, she said, no school is only recognizing you. Why should you suffer something like that? And of course, someday she comes, someday she's she not coming now. Now what? Now, because I got whether recognition from different schools and different teachers, they know what actually I do. Now I became little popular in Mysore. 30, 40 kilometers in and out of Mysore. They asked me the dates. That is what? Now the changes. See, initial year, I really struggled to actually exhibit myself that, yes, I do. Free of cost, please accept me and I will do something. Now people call me and tell me, sir, when, which date is convenient to you? In my calendar, I will actually work. Now, this is the school I have to go. For every school, I will tell, okay, depending upon my calendar, I will tell, this is the day I am free. And I go at 9.30. <laughs> I go at 9.30, I leave the house, take all the 11 packages in my car, go to school by 10 o'clock. From 10, 10 to 1 or 1.30, depending upon the morning session, I will be taking physics. Physics is the subject which I will be covering in the morning only for the reason that physics requires power. Sometimes the schools may not have power. That's why whenever power is there, that's why I wanted to come. I alone stand for the entire between 10 to 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Standing. Teaching entire thing about physics. Of course, nowadays I call the students also. I will ask them also to do so that they will experience of doing it. Because they don't have a laboratory in the school. That is the reason why I started this. And they will actually come do it. And then I will explain why this happens, why this happens, what is Wong's law, why this happens, why all those things I have explained. And morning session will be between 10 to 1.15 or so. Then after lunch, 2 to 4.35, it will be chemistry. This is, hence, that is overall, other than biology, because biology is a difficult thing to demonstrate. Really. Otherwise, I may have to actually purchase something and show it. This is how the digestive system works. This is how the other That is, I want to really show. Hence, here we show. I actually show. Between 10 to 4.45, 5 o'clock, I will be standing and talking, talking, talking. I will be very happy to leave the children. That is how this working laboratory started. Now, of course, it gained momentum. And uh, last year, including the COVID times, COVID times also people called me. I went there with masks. We actually did. Of course, certain times online also we did. After the COVID, actually, the momentum has picked up very well. And even right from May also, they generally I used to start doing from September so that some chapter will be over so that when I do, they will be understanding. But some schools, they say, no, 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 first you come and show them. So that when we actually take the session, it will be very easy. Like that also they will be calling. And hence, at an average, because one last but one year I did 108 schools, last year I did 114 schools. So that an average definitely 100 above schools I will be using. That is, see, in a school, generally I used to tell, three out of 365 days, schools will work only for 200 days. Almost 50% of their school, I am there. But only thing is, I go only one day to one school. The next day, I go to some other school. Because this physics chemistry, for the entire chair, entire syllabus, I will be covering on one single day. My assurance to the students is, if they really look into me on that particular day and hear to me and raw whatever I am telling or write, whatever notes it is, 25 marks are guaranteed. Because I also see the question paper with that, whatever I told, whether it has appeared or not. Otherwise, I have to correct myself. Yes, I have to move on for it. It's a 25 marks plus 20 marks that the school itself will give as a assessment and all. Definitely, the student really, if he works for one day with me, he can definitely pass the exam. Our idea is to give you a motivation to the children to take science as a subject in the future days. But government schools, it is, frankly speaking, it is a little different, difficult. And nowadays, uh, gas students are faring better than the boys whenever I go. And the gas students, I am very happy that they are doing better. But only thing is when I ask, what is your next, what do you want to do? If I say, no, no, after two years, I will get married. See, then I really feel that what actually the government is doing, what actually we really want to do as a woman and government, though they are really doing hard work and they are studying very well, they are not 
they may not be coming up further. I'm talking only about government schools. I'm not talking about that. people in general. That the particular, like, you know, somewhere, somehow we have to feel. That is what I, sometimes I think about that particular. This is what my walking laboratory is. Extremely beautiful. I, one more thing I want to add. See, very recently, I went to a school in Mysore, a deaf and dumb school. Both deaf and dumb. They can only see. They can't talk. They can't hear. The teacher told me, this is in particular, because I asked the teacher to send me the map, the location map. She sent me, otherwise I will not be doing. She sent me the map and I saw the map, this particular map was leading to that particular Duffundam school. Then one night I called her and said, this is Duffundam school, I will not be in a position to communicate with them, but I am not a trained person. Then she said, no, no, sir, you come, let us book a treat. We are there. You believe it or not, the 36 students, I have not seen that type of energy in any of the students where everything is not working. The children who are not, who can't hear, who can't talk, the energy levels, what they have shown on that particular, every student wants to come and do that particular experiment. They want, they are not allowing the other person to do. They said, all 36 will do all 50 experiments. That is, see, that is why God, if one he is not giving, he will definitely give something or the other to the people. That was a beautiful day during this particular year, 2013, 2023-2024. That was a beautiful day. Even now it is just coming on my eyes. How the students? Actually, on that day between 10, I was there up to 8.45. That dinner time was also over. Still children. Beautiful day. And really, I am getting great satisfaction out of this. Excellent, sir. That's really wonderful. I really like the uh, way you've shared the last part of what you were sharing with regard to the deaf and dumb children, their enthusiasm to learn and to take part in the practical session and to do the experiments themselves. That's really very nice. And what you are doing is really very impressive. And I think all the schools and colleges uh, should encourage students to come forward and connect with sir. I wish you were my physics sir. Oh. Because I scored very less marks in physics because I didn't have any knowledge in physics. So as you were sharing, like the morning session from 10 to 1.30 physics, at least 25 marks they could score. So I was thinking of my 10th class where I wish I had somebody like you who could train us in the right way, where I could gain that knowledge and score good marks. Shall I add something? Yes, please. I never studied either physics or chemistry in my school days. Okay. Here, after post my retirement, when once the decision was taken that the science, first I thought it can be best. But maths, in a single day, I can't visit a one day a school and complete it. Next, the next of, uh, alternative was science. Science, frankly, I am from Andhra Pradesh. I can only read Kannada, I can't write Kannada. Because I was in SBM, I can read really talk in Kannada. But I have to take Kannada book because I don't know what are the terms which I have to use. I don't know. Hence, I have to read. I went to some schools. When teachers were teaching, it was just hearing what they were telling. And whatever they were telling, I used to write in Telugu. Telugu script, but Kannada literature. Uh, that's how I actually learned Kannada. That is, Kannada terms in science. And then, of course, now I became familiar with regard to whatever I tell. I am, I am a dada in that particular area. Comfortably, I can challenge any other teacher whoever is there for the last so many years. That's wonderful. That's very impressive, sir. Uh, now, you are a multi-talented person. Now, you have many languages. Uh, you have a hold on many languages. One is English, one is Kannada, one is Telugu. Hindi, Hindi. I'm sure you'll have because Hindi. you were in Jaipur and Rajasthan and all of that, right? Hindi. You're not part of India. Hindi, Tamil. Tamil, oh, that's great. You mentioned Chennai as well. Wonderful. For so our, uh, my place, the, the Chitu, which is the part of Andhra Pradesh, it is very near to Chennai. And hence, there the people used to speak both Telugu and Tamil, and hence uh, I am fairly, I know Tamil also. And to some extent, of course, I can, to some extent, I understand the uh, Bengali also, because I was in Calcutta for some time. See, actually, almost out of my 41 years of service, 13, 14 years I was uh, in North Delhi, Calcutta, uh, uh, Jaipur, Bikini, uh, Lucknow. And, and uh, after some time, I was in Hyderabad, I was working in Vishakhapattam and Vijayawada. 
Hence, uh, language is not a useful part. I am very comfortable with the. Uh, I can actually, frankly speaking, one of the strength for me is because of this language, I could take the people with me wherever it is, whichever place it is. It was just whatever language is there, I should talk to them. And hence, uh, people are also comfortable, whether the customer or the staff, they will be more comfortable if you talk to them in their own language. So that has actually fetched me. Maybe, maybe one person, person parts extra in my appraisal, maybe because of my cordial relationship, either both with the staff and also the. I would like to add one more thing, maybe. See, I go to some hostels here. Hostels, each hostel may be having 30 people, 40 people, depending on the terms. I mean, what I'm telling this is uh, one experience which people can okay. I in the morning I go with some 30-40 books, depending upon the strength of the hostel. The books cost around 50 rupees. The uh, each book that is uh, books of nature of either maybe the uh Ramayana Mahabharata, maybe Sita, Ramayana, Valmiki, something like that, or Lal Mosha, Sri Gandhi, Nehru, whatever it is. Depending that type of books which cost 50 rupees. Small book. I go there, give the books to all the students at around 8 30 in the morning. Each one book to each student. And I will tell them, You read. I will come back to you at 3 30. And you have to tell individually whatever is the contents of the book. Five minutes. You should tell me in five minutes important things of the book. And at 3 30, I go, all the 30 40 people individually, they will be talking. Is basically why I started, of course, one of my friends is also involved in that. Started is just to improve the communication. The communication is lacking. Absolutely, people are not in information to talk fluently for a long time. Writing is absolutely gone because of the great uh, technology. And hence, this communication, I am just to want people to communicate properly. And which are the contents which is important in that book? That is very important. See, 15 pages, 20 pages reading, and first page you read and buy art and go on telling. That is not important. <coughs> then I will tell them why, which in this particular Savitri, which is important, which is not important. You told only unimportant things. This is important. This you have not told. Sardar Valva, this is important. This particular line you have missed. Iron Man of India, that particular thing you have not told. Like that, between 3 to 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, it will go on. But for individual person, that's a lesson for the next. Not that uh, we are pinpointing whatever mistake it is. It is a thing people, children at that age, maybe at the 10th uh, standard, 12th standard, college students, they have to learn to talk. This is the other way of making people to grow in the communication. That is, uh, I just wanted to mention. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. that's really nice and interesting, sir. So now we'd like to talk about your banking experience as a bank manager what were the challenges that you faced in the banking sector did you ever face a very tough situation like usually we see in the movies that there are certain goons coming up with the guns and all of that and they're robbing the bank did you ever encounter such type of difficult situation or everything went very smoothly banking normally challenges or daily in nature that you have to accept. When once you sit in a manager's seat, whatever we do, maybe I may not be with guns and all, every day it's a challenge. Every day you have to take the decisions. It is not just that passing check go, it's not like that. You have to take some decisions because for that particular unit, you are the boss. If it's a branch, you are the boss of the particular unit. If you are a controller or a regional manager, you are the boss of 40 branches. If you are a DG, deputy general manager, you are a boss of 200 not branches. If you are a GM, you are a brand boss of 1000. Like that, it happens. But the issue here is every day is a challenge. May not be. With gun borrowed and all people may not come. But people will come, they use abusive languages. You might actually reduce their tempo, talk to them, or we have to increase our tempo. Sometimes it also happens because sometimes they may be correct, sometimes you may be correct. You <laughs> Even if they are wrong, we can't say that they are wrong because they may he or she may be a very, very potential customer of the bank having some gross of deposits those days. Because nowadays, potential advances also. And hence, we can't just throw away anybody. 
every day is a challenge will be and again challenges comes from top of that's another difficult thing the basically uh, for me uh, i opened a small branch in kolar district i opened a small branch there see small rural branch there the issues are totally different politically people one political party person comes inside means immediately after 10 minutes the second political party person comes to know what this first political party person see this is again as a bank i should keep my secrecy but this man will come he will he want to know what this man has done immediately this man go then this man again comes or this man's chala will come and ask us what it is see very very great small bank <laughs> absolutely no one manager one staff one you will be there but in spite of that every day the tension will be there you have to manage the tension properly you have to manage that day properly i am not telling the rest day that day <laughs> some society that problem this society problem uh, one person will not pay small small things one uh, cow death take place some person says no no this is not the cow for which you have given the loan this is another loan we have to go see whether that this all those things will be there in the rural branch if you come to a town branch or a metropolitan branch the the staff problem will be there staff coming late the customer i told you they may be good they may be good. they come late in the metropolitan they say no no bus i could not get that is not our problem we have to start the ball rolling 10 means you should be available at 9 40. sometimes <laughs> there the friction starts that will also be major thing what in nutshell i one problem i faced in this one is the computerization of the banks when bank actually with regard to agreements and all accepted that the computation can take place but the unions which were very strong they individually they opposed see it is not overall as a bank they never said bank they said yes we can go but whenever we used to introduce a computer small one computer single single computers in the bank and we upload a very data the very next day they will remove the computer they will erase everything and they will again be kept up sometimes the management also says no no don't do for tomorrow you just keep it aside sometimes the moment by the time we come there everything they will erase like that that particular problem was that the computation during that period it was really very difficult thing even for heart it was not good yes by heart we could not actually accept what actually is happening and again and again same type of work doing uploading removing uploading removing that problem was there for some time in the bank of course afterwards now without computer no bank is there no branch is there and the another thing is at calcutta calcutta compared with the work culture is different of course i don't know that people are there in the calcutta people are not work culture is different here south especially south if one person one is to i can easily i can take three three people work in west bengal the work what three people do in west bengal is equal to one person doing it in my own branches whatever i have seen here they they do work proper perfect that perfect means as an extreme layer but they will never accept another thing you should tell and do they will do that particular thing and finish there is the way in case one person is only we will ask the other person to do the work Here and all there is very comfortable. As I told you, I can take people along with it. There is absolutely no issue. But in Calcutta, I really find sometimes there was lots of friction used to be there between us and staff. Okay, it's uh, to move it move on. And uh, otherwise, uh, uh, as such, uh, the decisions again, decision with regard to credits. See that the decisions uh, whether fifty crore, seven hundred crore, seven hundred. Okay, committee may be taking. But overall, you will be in charge to take the decision. At that time, see, I used to get up at two thirty-three in the morning, and I used to read because that will be proposal will be this big. The entire proposal I will read because other people that they read or not. The final decision I will be hours, and then everything I read, reread, reread, doubts again. I have to keep on noting, and then we have to discuss it. Right? There also sometimes. In the meetings, the friction will be there. Whether to give, not to give. What are the terms and conditions we have to impose? Some branch manager say, "No, no, I brought this much of business. You are not actually sanctioning." See, as a branch manager, your thought process is totally different. 
I say control and administration your thought process. There is also the confusion. Otherwise, the friction should be there. You should work with the tensions. Then only you can enjoy. Otherwise, it's just going, coming and down. Of no use. Yes, sir. That's really very interesting, sir, to know about it, about your journey. As you said, there are lots of, uh, you know, friction and friction is always good. The, a little stress is always good. And you faced all of that very bravely till date. Now, sir, you take classes for free, even for college students and those who are interested in banking. Now, how come are you doing it for free? Because when we give things for free, people do not value it. How would you like to explain this? Madam, what you said is that if I give free, it's not accept. But at the same time, the areas which I have selected and going. See, yesterday you called me. I said I am in a session. Yesterday I went to a hostel where 60 girl students are studying as in graduation. They are in fifth semester and sixth semester. Can you expect them to pay something for me to know what a bank exam is and how to actually process and write the exam? It's not possible. Hence, my selection of the places and my selection of the students is also different. Yes, I also agree. If at all, my experience really is a matter and I can actually go further and talk to different level of people, I can actually earn a lot of money. I feel that the pension what I am earning, that is sufficient for me. And frankly, our next generation is not going to gain anything from it. That is a different thing. See, what my father, maybe his overall entire salary uh, savings was around 2 lakhs. And we four children, we got 50,000 rupees each. Do you think 50,000 rupees is a big sum? Maybe? maybe only thing that I purchased one uh, tab on me as a memory of my father. One tab, 55,000 rupees. Other than that, 50,000 rupees, I am not actually, it is not a great money for me. Maybe for him, as a retirement benefit, he would have come some 70,000 rupees at the time of death, it will become 2 lakhs. That 2 lakhs to each four children got. And see, even if for me, whatever savings I keep, that savings, in case if it goes, see, nowadays children, they earn 8, 20 lakhs. See, what a, entire my PF contribution for the entire 41 years is around 40, 50 lakhs. Whereas my son, he may be earning 20 lakhs per year. That is, 2 years he will be earning that myself. And hence, by 50 lakhs, for me, is a lifetime earnings, lifetime savings. For him, it is a two years salary. Or one of years salary. I don't know. I don't know what salary. Just a And here, yeah, <coughs> the value of money is actually for the next generation, it's nothing. It's whatever is there. I am really comfortable. I, actually, I am telling you, I actually choose a student. This hostel yesterday where I have gone. It is really important to you know. I can also, I also told yesterday that I will purchase because the reasoning is a very difficult thing for them. They can't understand what is reasoning. And some examples I told is this, this is how the questions come. To. But they have actually practiced. I said I will get some four books. You make some four, four books each and go on reading one, one book. Then again, you circulate it. See, it is selection here. Yeah. Again, sometimes I also feel if I don't charge, it's, there is no, not going to be, it is not to be recognized. But the I am not talking about the organization which calls me. I am talking about the people who are there. See, the hospital or the school or the college, they may not actually <coughs> recognize my efforts. But my efforts will definitely be recognized. If not recognized, at least my out of 60 students, 10 percent of the students, if they can learn something and get something out of it. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's really nice. Thank you for sharing that entire thing in a very nice way. You gave us a lot of clarity. You are selective with regard to your students and it's not the money factor. It's the satisfaction factor. That's really nice. My, myself, my yes. brother, my elder sister, all were in banks. I was in SBM and then moved to SBM. My brother was in Punjab National Bank. My sister was in Indian bank. Because my brother-in-law was also in Indian bank. My other sister is a teacher, was a teacher. My other brother-in-law was in army. This is the structure. I mean, my all of them were from the banking sector? Three, three. Wow. Out of the four, three are from the banking sector. Oh, wonderful. Three plus my brother-in-law, four. 
4 into 2, 8. Out of 8, 4, uh, and including my wife. My wife is also from Bangalore. She is originally from Sri Lanka. She is from India. I moved from different banks, but she is from Sri Lanka, India. But again, uh, ah, I lost my brother recently. Actually, from then onwards, uh, emotionally, I became uh, earlier days. So pre-retirement and all, the bank itself is our family and those two and all. Post-retirement only, I came this side. See, because as I told you earlier, I was in different places. And my brother and all, they used to be in Bangalore only. My brother and two sisters, they used to be in Bangalore. My eldest sister was in another place for some time and she came back to Bangalore. And all three used to be here and I was in some different places and somewhere, sometime I used to come and go. And then, uh, okay, bonding is there, was there and is there. But nowadays, after losing my brother recently, who was just one year elder to me, uh, the emotional uh, aspects are coming uh, very frequent. Uh, that is with the sisters. And so uh, I am not leaving uh, any time. Whenever opportunity comes, I am just going and meeting them. They are also coming. Something like that. Because which was not there. Almost six months, eight months, we never met. But nowadays, even for a even two weeks, three weeks also, just in case an opportunity comes, go meet them, come back. Something like that. Only thing is, very sad thing is, uh, who actually taught me accountancy, now he is not. That is one aspect, always is in my mind. Yeah. My wife was also in the State Bank of India. Then, I, shall I tell you about my marriage? See, extra wagon job, I don't like. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Extra wagon job, uh, spending more and more money. I don't like. Earlier days also, and another days also. Our marriage is a proper arranged marriage. By that time, I lost my mother. I my I lost my mother even before my promotion. I was a clerk. Then only I lost my mother. Then I got promoted. Of course, my father saw me, the progress in the bank, but my mother could not see. For my marriage, the only condition what I was for my family put is the marriage should be in the most simplest form. I think COVID and all you heard, you, if you are from India, I think uh, around 40 people are maximum for a marriage. Now. We, at that time, I am talking about 86, at that time also kept it the same thing. Maximum person from both sides should be 40. There cannot be more than 40. Hence, how the marriage took place is, we hired a vehicle, bus, 36 people, both put together. We boarded the bus. One cook, all vegetables, etc., etc., we took. And we went to a place called Balu, which is near Bangalore. And there is one Venkatraman Swami temple is there. There, the marriage, one day, morning, morning around 9.30, we reached there. Marriage over. They had darshan. By the time the cook prepared lunch, we had lunch. 2 o'clock, we left. 3.30, we came back to our house. The bride is with me and all others. The break uh, relatives, whoever it is, the 20 people left. It's a fuck of picnic place. Entire marriage took place between on that day, between 9.30 to 2. Dawn, marriage over, came back, finished, everything was over. Basically, even <coughs> with regard to engagement, it is normally before the marriage, people say, no, no. I said, when once I am telling that I am getting married, what is the great thing of doing one more function and telling that? No, no, yes, I am agreed to. No, even for my son also, I said, uh, no question of engagement. When once one has come from my mouth, means finished. There is the matter, yes. Because my daughter-in-law, even now, she says, you actually spoiled, I, we were not having it. Ah, she says. But of course, that was, uh, because those days also, I felt that extra baggage should not be there. And present day, at least those days, amount was small. Nowadays, the amount of money, what they spend for marriages is, we can't really think of it. But maybe the, my school of thoughts are different. Or maybe the type of life I learned earlier days is still lingering in my mind. And hence, I'm actually putting some strokes here and there. Maybe that may also be there, I don't say. But still, it is in my mind. And But still, I feel that uh, the decision what me or what my family took for my marriage is really super. Because I feel that the marriage is a family 
it's another family function or again say family's festival. Maybe it is more detailed. In a festival, normally we also be there. One more sort of people may be coming. That is enough. All people coming and going, I feel that's totally a waste. Again, this particular message also, I would really like to give it to the people who are actually looking into this particular thing. Wherever it is possible, you reduce your expenditure. See, whether it is required or not, you have to actually look into it. If I am not using one particular thing for six months, last six months, I feel that it is not useful to me in my period of time. If I am not using, it means that it, has not come use, it is not useful to me at all. Means there is no use for me to have that particular thing in my hands. That is I also, even today, I have a number of pads I should have this much of dress. The moment one more extra comes, one dress will be going out. My cupboard will have only the limited number, whatever I am having. What I used to have earlier days, what I have earlier, two years back, no, same number will be there. That's how simply it is better. But thing is, going, we are not going to gain anything out of it. That's the message, small message I would like to give to the people. Sorry. Yes, it's not a small message, it's a big message for everybody. Because people waste such a lot of money on marriages, on uh, food, they waste such a lot of wastage of food during the marriages and lots of fanfare, etc. The same yes. amount could be either contributed in the right way for the right reasons. Yes. Be used in the right. It's only a suggestion. It's not an advice, my dear friends. It's just a suggestion. Yes. But it's a wonderful suggestion. I really appreciate it and I really stand by it with you. Yes, sir. Now, sir, I'd like you to go down now and remember any incident or an anecdote with regard to your childhood between the ages of like maybe uh, below the age of 12 any uh, incident you remember no, you any, a dangerous basically. animal or maybe uh, some type of a wild animal or you bunked school or like you know you did something at home you were, you were scolded by your parents or you did something nice that you were praised by your parents okay See, childhood before, or the, before 12 years of age, fine. See, as I told you, we are four. My mother was a teacher. And uh, see, basically, I was a good student. Yes, my mother was a teacher. Normally, the teacher makes, at those days at least, she is very strict teacher. How strict means in case if she has to prepare a question paper for that particular standard, in which standard we are studying, she will not prepare the answer she, she will not uh, correct it because she feels that she, other people should not feel that she is actually doing something wrong. Okay, that is another thing. <coughs> I am very disciplined those days also. At the same time, among the four, I am little mischievous also. Among the four. And my mother, see, one uh, thing, what is a weakness in me or in my entire family is the sports. Those days, we were never asked to play. We never play, even though I never play, or my I, I don't even read a newspaper with regard to sports page, except to think that next day I will see whether India has won or not in whatever sports page. And so that may be those days uh, the stress was more on education or whatever it is. Then so my mother used to put a circle because I used to be a mischievous boy. She used to put a circle and I was asked to sit in, inside the circle and look in. Otherwise, I will be actually disturbing other four, other three. But my mischievous mind will never make me to sit in the particular circle. I will just move little, little forward. And uh, definitely, one tantra always will be there, dhan, 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 either with a stick or whatever it is. And I used to get it. That is the thing which even now is getting to my mind. Another thing is, again, as I told you with regard to my brother, see, those days, our bags used to be like this. It's not uh, the back. Uh, Getting bag. And we used to carry a bag like this. Also again, some cloth they will purchase and the stitches and all the all of us who used to have a similar type of bag and go. One time, uh, my brother used to be in a main school and I used to be in a branch for the same same school. But my class was in a branch school and my brother's school was in a main. Almost several times, it's not once or twice. All bags are similar type. My sisters used to take their bags properly. My brother, generally, see, 
Generally, my brother goes a little early because he has a lot of friends. I am very strict. I will go only with my mother and come back with my mother only. Because the same school, both of us, we go together and we used to come back together. Very, very disciplined. That way, I am very disciplined. Not at home. And my brother used to take my bag and go. Without knowing, it's not the intention. Without knowing, he will take my bag and go away. My branch school is this side, his school is this side. Of course, all are walkable distance only. But when I, once I take my bag and see, then only I will realize that my bag is already taken over. Right? Several times I have to run to his school to get my get me my bag and then I go to my school. This is if not once or twice, maybe more than a dozen times it would have. This is the thing what uh, then uh, see our uh, those days one is the school education. Second thing is, uh, I was uh, studying for the Dakshina Bharat Hindi Pratasabha, where Pradhamika, Madhima, Rashtrapasha, Praveshika, I did up to Sharada. All of us, all four used to go to the school and up. See, only thing is read, read, read. That is the only mantra in my, which my mother taught us. That's what I am telling. Sports is not at all an area which we never thought of those days. And, uh, and that particular thing we have to read. Then in my schools, one beautiful thing is, which, whichever class it is, whether it is 4th standard, 10th standard, 5th standard, 7th, whatever it is, there used to be a minimum of three competitions, three times, three times competition will be there. One is uh, somewhere uh, Teacher's Day or Mahatma Gandhi Day or uh, August Independence Day, Republic Day, something like that. Some three times each the school used to conduct competitions. Three times competitions in three languages, that is English, Telugu and Hindi. Believe it or not, for me, I should get three into three, nine prizes, irrespective of whether it's the first prize or second prize or third prize. That, that's right. It is, you can just take it for granted that nine prizes are for me. That is different. Of course, my again, my elder sister also like that too. She is also an extempore, she also talks very well. And she also my brother and my younger sister are not as uh, rather uh, forcefully they were not going for this. But we used to go for all the competitions, three plus three plus three, all nine uh, electrician, uh, uh, electrician competition, yes, competition, electrician competition, three languages, three into two, six, six into three, 18 competitions we used to attend, and lots of prizes we got. Without our names, prizes were not used to be given. That is the name we got. But today, feeling okay, good books we got, those days, again, we didn't turn down. But today, when we think again, I'm uh, talking about sports. Absolutely, we have not given any thought for that. But I feel uh, there would also be taking a little amount of maybe I think 10 15 percent of uh, our time we should have spent for what is small sport, which we never. Uh, of course, now I do yoga at home. That is a different issue. But that particular moment at that time, we never thought of our uh, physical exercise. Even my school, uh, that physical PT teacher also never asked us to come. Yeah, chala, chala, chala. And we used to go to class and we used to read. That's how it happened. So excellent. So you shared your childhood memories with us. That's very nice. I like that circle. <laughs> and I like the way you came, were trying to come out of the circle and you were, you know, uh, I, I wish, you know, scolded by your mom or maybe she, yeah. or she tried to control you not to come out of that. And you shared about the prizes. You shared that how about the bag that you, my mistake, it would be exchanged between both the brothers and you would run quickly. I could visualize the picture, like how you're running quickly to get your bag. And that's really wonderful that you've shared all of that, sir. That's really nice. Now, sir, as you said that you were not focused on sports, it was only studies and it was like essay or elocution and all regarding with academics. And nevertheless, now you are into yoga and that is the secret of, uh, you know, your health now. That's really nice. So what I'd like to ask you now is, you lost your mom. At what age did you lose your mom? Before. So how was that experience? Were you able to face it in a brave way or did you go into depression? Did it take time for you to come out of it? Actually, earlier to handle almost six months, it was a very difficult uh, period. Actually, all of a sudden, uh, at that time, we were also not knowing that she was suffering from cancer. 
and some drugs were side effects. They said no, it's all only gastric. Some medicine used to be given. Some medicine actually then also she was working as a teacher, but uh, because she was not well, she came back to our place. At that time we were in Bangalore, and we used to go to a normal government hospital. They said no, no, it's only gastric. Some medicine used to be. She was taking, and all of a sudden one day the trouble got bulged. And immediately doctor said, no, no, you take her to government, Victoria Hospital in Bangalore. And the night around 9 o'clock, we came to hospital and they said, you need to get operated. Again, <laughs> operation. At that time, that uh, operation and post operating. Actually, at that time, uh, it was difficult for us to take, uh, take care of her in the hospital. Our house was around 15, 20 kilometers away. Those days, buses were not there. We have to actually prepare something, get everything here. At night, uh, we could not sleep there because it's a ladies' ward. It's a common ward. It's not a separate ward. Common ward. We have to engage one lady. For six weeks, we engage one lady for night stay. But morning, exactly at 5.30, I used to come back to that hospital. And uh, those days, it was really a very tough period. And uh, she became lean, 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 thin, 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 and she has gradually came. And uh, we have to actually carry her for any of her things. Then the post-operation for a few days, we were there, almost one and a half, two months. Then she was discharged, then came back home, but at home also she was having the same problem. Actually, they actually made a hole here, and the some small packet used to be there, and the motion will be coming automatically without knowing the motion will come. And every day we have to remove that pack, clean it again, some other thing. There is a pakka hole in the air to the school. That was uh, rather, say, she died in the May, month of May, and almost from December to May, this was a job which you used to do. Either me, my brother, my sister, whatever it is. And when actually, when was actually she was. See, the, as you said, initially we actually felt, yes, what is this? She has not seen the life. She was actually at the age, she was 54 when she died. A lot of things to be seen. That's what we felt. But when once the days were moving, frankly speaking, we also expected that it is better if she leaves the world go. Because the sufferings, what she was actually having, and what is that we are actually looking into? Because really, even now I feel that was this is like that, and she has gone out of us. But because really, see, May we lost her, and I got promoted in July. You said no. Afterwards, what? See, afterwards we felt that it is the better thing for God as well. Yes. And uh, one thing is, <coughs> my mother always had one flaw that is thinking in that her mind that I was not a graduate, as I told you earlier. Then all other are graduates, this son has not become graduate, what will be his future? That is what her question was in her mind, always. Okay, it was in the bank. But she actually felt that I should have become a better, I, I am not having prospects of growth. But out of the three, okay, it's not that I am uh, proud enough to tell, but out of the four, I actually moved a ladder fast. But that she could not see. It's a very... Actually, when I became a branch manager, I really felt from that particular day. I never felt when it was promotion. But when I was a branch manager, see, branch manager is a cadre which the designation itself says that I am one person above. Whereas that she could not actually fit. Okay. For other things, different promotions are all different. But that particular moment on that day. But see, whatever it is, now we know people have to come, people have to go. But at that time, yes, it was really a difficult uh, thing to. Digest. But now, after 40 years of this, year, her memory is now post retirement. Her memory is what she did. Because you told that you asked me the immediately I told about circle. Because almost on an alternative day, I will be thinking what actually had happened those days. <coughs> Hence, uh, that's all just lingering in my mind. My father had a very full life. Up to 86 years of age, he lived. He died. Full years. Yes, sir. that's really nice. Thank you for sharing 
all of that. And as you said, the suffering was too much. And then finally, she had to leave the world. I'm sure from about today, she will be blessing us yeah, and yeah. Be listening to us. We are sharing about her today. May her soul rest in peace. Yes, that's really nice. And especially you shared that when you became the branch manager, you missed her a lot. You wanted her to see you in that position, right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Sir, now, sir, I'd like to ask you, how would you want people to remember you? In what way should people remember K. Hey, Ramesh Babu? Madam, frankly speaking, nobody will remember you. It's not for a long period of time. Now, see, my grandparents' photos are not there with me. Maybe those days, some two, three photos may be there. But that photos I am not. My mother photo, my father photo is now with me. I don't think that will be there with my children's later part of the time. Friends, uh, remembering for a long period of time, definitely will not be there. But as I told you, I take people along with me. I took people, I am taking people along with me. My one circle of the people, at least for some time, they look into some examples. See, again, with regard to DPD cases, disability proceeding cases in the bank, even now one of my personal officers tells me, if I can take a decision either to suspend a staff member, officer, staff member, or to dismiss him, before taking a decision, before writing my decision, I used to call the family members, generally the spouse, why? Because majority of the cases, uh, only the male people have done the fraud. Only in one case, I took a, a drastic step of uh, removing one lady staff member. Otherwise, it's all male only. Before taking a decision, maybe it is uh, uh, my emotional question or not, I don't know. But I used to call the spouse of the member, whomever who did some issue and who we have to do give some punishment and all. And I used to discuss with them with regard to their family issues. And finally, okay, whatever decision I would take as a disciplinary authority, I used to take. But that even today people say that no other person used to, no other person of that cadre used to take the family into consideration before taking a decision. And even now that particular thing is moving around among my own circles. And again, all these are temporary. It cannot be for a long period of time. The person who got benefited maybe because of our acts at that time, maybe for a few years, three years, ten years, they may be remembering. Or maybe till their retirement. Another reason will go. Means people thinking about me for a long period of now I go to school. In case the one because last year I gave one girl got 616 marks out of 625 in a rural school. I gave a laptop to her. Do you think that she is remembering me today? I don't think so. I gave a laptop. She said, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was some small function. Thank you, thank you. I never saw her now and they never. Afterwards, also, there is no communication. The school also has not communicated me for that. And all these are, we can't expect it. And certain things, if we don't expect it, we don't. Frankly, we should not expect it. Things as on day, if it is okay, fine. Let us move forward. That is, the, that is what I expect it as a teacher. Yes, sir. That's really nice. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. You're very humble. That's really nice. You're very, very humble. Sir, now I'd like to know about your interest in movies, apart from being a professional and being a disciplinarian, etc. Did you have some time or do you still have time to watch movies? Do you take that as a time of leisure and enjoy? You know, with regard to movies, Again, I will go back to my childhood days. My father was in different places and when he, once he comes, once in two months or three months, at that time he used to take us to cinema. That is one bonus we used to get at that time because he was not there for a long period of time. Say for 60 days or 90 days, he will come and he will take us to cinema. Maybe a Telugu movie or a Tamil movie. And this uh, we used to do at that time. Later, uh, post-marriage or whatever it is, one cinema in a month. We used to go in the initial days when I was in inner and around Karnataka. But when we moved to Delhi, though both of us were working, we felt, one is it is difficult for us to commute also. The second thing is we felt that it's a little costlier than the life what we used to do. 
And hence, those days, because my son was also studying, somehow, the viewing a cinema, going to a theater and doing cinema, he stopped at that time. Because we were there for four, five years in Delhi. Hence, when once he, he went out of our mind, further it never came back. Hence, uh, viewing cinema is not totally, not out of question. Very recently, I went to that uh, article 360. 370. After a long period of time. I think the last picture I have seen was the Yuri. Yuri. After that, Article 370. That is, there's a long gap. And uh, <laughs> in my house also, I don't have that Netflix, Netflix, all those things I don't have. See, as I told you, mine is a structured uh, timetable. See, I go for a walk, come back, have a cup of tea, then reading newspaper, then some puja, and go to school in case school is there. If school is not there, then my yoga, if school is not there. I may have to prepare something. Somebody will be calling me, somebody will ask me, you talk, can you talk on this particular thing? Then I will prepare some two, three hours, I will be working on this computer. Then evening, in case if I am at home, nap for one hour. Then again, I read Vishnu uh, Sarasalama for half an hour. Then nowadays I am seeing Ramayana in TV. The world Ramayana, now it is coming Ramayana. Without, then again, after 9 to 9.30, I will see the news. All the three, Kannada news, Kannada news, English news, and Hindi news. Three channels I will be just going on, changing, just to know what is actually happening. Nowadays, I am not very happy to hear the news also, because it is not like news. They will be actually quarreling. Each person will quarrel with the other person, who is actually telling what we will not be doing. But still, I would like to know what is actually happening. Hence, I will just hear. That's all. I normally don't use much of things in TV also. Hence, my is a structured life every day. This is my timetable. And I have a board. On the board, I will be writing what are things I should do on that day. Next day. Next day. Three days back itself, I wrote in the board. International travel. Talks that I have already written. And now uh, after this, I will remove it. Like that. That of course I am practicing with long time. I write everything. I do and then cut it. Then whatever is remaining, next day it will go. But then once I grew up in my career, my PS, personal secretary used to come in the morning. I used to hand over a paper. He will take, he will get it done, everything. Then in the evening I will ask what are things over, what are things not over. Then the remaining over, not, then again it. That time, I was following those days and you were nowhere. Yes, that's really nice. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very much, sir. So we'd like to know about your traveling uh, journey. Like, I mean, have you loved traveling? Did you like to travel to different places across India? Have you traveled outside India? Across India, when I was in North, Maybe nearer places to all those places I have seen. Sometime when, first time when I went to Delhi, because my child was in 8th, 9th, 10th, 12th, which is crucial, those times we never went. Afterwards, all those nearby places and I have gone. Abroad, yes, Europe, Istanbul, all those areas, I went because of bank recognizing me for some official work and they sent me I went. It is not that I went on my own. The bank has me for something, some campaign they will do, something my people will be working. Maybe because of the people's efforts, I would have actually facilitation, facilitation, they can't give me money. Hence, they will send me for three days, four days, five days. Nothing like that. Hence, abroad, all those things were only, I am gratitude to the bank, which has sent me to different places. India, other than Karnataka, frankly speaking, in Karnataka, though I am now living, Karnataka, in and around, I have not seen much. Different places have gone well. Only thing is here after coming, uh, uh, wanted to go, but that COVID had come. And uh, maybe, otherwise also we will be going very frequently. Once in two months, three, four days program definitely will be there. And once in a month, I will be calling around 50, 20 people to my house and we will have some music and all at my house. So that to make ourselves uh, energetic to live for Yes, sir. that's really nice. So thank you for sharing. Thank you. 
and you were lucky to visit even other countries as well. That was as, uh, a, a, you know, some arrangement from the bank side for the work that you've done. So they, first, they allowed you to go over there or they arranged for a, a travel session that at that time when you were working. That's wonderful. So do you get angry? If yes, what makes you angry? Well, I used to get angry very fast. See, normally, earlier days, I used to get angry for everything. If things does not happen in the way in which I feel, I used to get angry. Nowadays, my angry levels have totally kept up. One, the reason is my wife. Because she is too silent. Then I thought, okay, achha, now whatever I tell, she'll be like this only. Okay, let me actually reduce, reduce, reduce. Hence, I reduced a lot. And then, nowadays, I don't get angry, angry at all. And the life has become very comfortable. Those days when I used to get angry, I used to get headache. Very frequently, I used to get headache. Hence, one is the way in which the approach of my wife for my anger. The second thing, the headache which was actually causing me my non-performance or underperformance because of my headache, these two have actually taught me that I should reduce my Earlier days, yes, maybe at the age of 30, 32, I was very, very... Then slowly it came down. It's not a day's now. Slowly it came down. Now I don't get angry at all. For everything, I will be just smiling. Everything I said, this is what the life is. This is how it's we move on. Okay. It's just now the ultra. Sometimes my wife gets angry, so now I will say, that's really nice. That's really nice. That I mean, I, I like the last part. You know, now it is the reverse, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. So she has her time now that she could also vent out a little and you're very calm and quiet and accepting the situation or maybe adjusting to the situation. Yes, sir. So I'd like you to share the proudest accomplishment till date. 41 years of service is no joke. And among all of this uh, that you've given contributed to the banking sector in various roles, and finally as the general manager, which was the most proudest accomplishment? Like you felt, wow, this is what I was waiting for and I've achieved it. Then, when you go up the ladder from one to other, actually the next moment is further, that is fine. Then again, uh, in a way I reach the general manager level, that is the proudest moment because general manager level, I never expected. See, as I told you, my childhood then going up to the that level, that you started in a clerical stage and moving forward. That is the most proudest moment. But another moment, just I will share you. See, once I was a scale 3 branch manager in Janakpuri branch in Delhi. And my GM was supposed to come to Delhi for giving some presentation to finance minister. For some issue. Uh, it's an incident. It's that day, the then uh, general manager of SBM, and also along with one of the officers, he's a friend to me. Both of them, they started from Bangalore, but they could not reach uh, Delhi because of the weather conditions. And their uh, flight reached Lucknow, and they were dropped in Lucknow. But the next day, <laughs> at 2 o'clock was the appointment with finance ministry, some presentation has to be given. My friend, just yes, he is the supporting officer to the GM, he sent me an email for the presentation. Those days, email, knowing email and seeing email is a very great thing. He sent me an email, this is what the presentation is, this has to be given to the finance ministry, this has to be presented by GM. In case BM does not come, then you may have to arrange for some, we are arranging some assistance. I was just on the branch line, I was scale 3. And one Nehru place branch is there, which is scale 5. If GM is not going to come, the assistant general manager scale 5, he will be presenting, but all other infrastructure is not you have to take care of. That is, first I have to download, I, which I don't know how to download. I don't know what a laptop is and how to operate a laptop. This is not the first day's plan. And he sent me that mail. And I called one of my customer, he downloaded and he showed this is what the mail is. And again, he showed in his laptop. But his laptop is required for him, for his own business. Then I talked to that AGM who is supposed to present. That AGM came along with one laptop. Again, that laptop and my friend's laptop is little different. We don't know from there, from that laptop, how to really 
We are not doing the pen drive into those days. We are not drive that we have to floppy drive. And okay, somehow I actually the entire ride, I read that presentation without knowing what is the subject is. I read the presentation. And next day morning, of course, again, Kanar West Chief Mayor was there. He arranged our going that inside the travel smoothly. We went there. First, because technical thing they gave me the issue. Other logical support they have asked to the current test back and take care of. Presentation, if GM is not there, AGM will do. But technical support, I have to take care of. That is what the assigned job for me. Since I went there at 12 o'clock, they permitted me a lot of formalities are there to go inside the finance ministry. Then the meeting room. Then I took my laptop, put everything and connected. Two o'clock is supposed to the finance minister and all they were supposed to come. And if I kept it open. Visheshwaya, who is our uh, founder of Tidbet of Mysore. That was the first uh, screen. And then, of course, the further presentations there. Somehow, I managed everything that the first presentation, first slide of Visheshwaya photo, and by down Tidbet of Mysore is appearing there at that time. Luckily, the TAG was also ready for presentation, but luckily, their uh, flight came and my GM came. And my GM, looking into the slide and also on the screen, he felt very happy. See, he also had a lot of tensions whether this will happen or not. Happen, because he has to address the finance ministry. Finance ministry can't say that is not there, this is not there. He felt very happy that I did this particular thing. Even now, the joy in his eyes or in his face, I am just happy. Of course, that may be the reason why later part after my Delhi stay, he took me to the planning department at the office, which is a very important. Uh, portfolio which requires planning of the entire bank where we go. He took me to the department. So I did well there also. Now, this is uh, when you ask the proud movement means proud movement, yes. As such, I got promoted. One step further means that is a proud movement. The moment I got next step, this proud movement has gone, another proud movement has come. That was the proud movement. And uh, this particular thing, uh, looking into uh, GM's eyes, then he appreciated me that yes, I am now comfortable. Okay, carry on. Very proud moment is when I got retired. Retirement function right is normal. But uh, when we were coming out, all of a sudden, four of the staff members, they just lifted me. And I was taken from the entire the hall, wherever they have arranged my retirement, to my car. They have carried almost it is half a kilometer because car was probably outside. The hotel was too big. They carried me, and people were actually throwing flowers on me. Like, uh, Generally, that is because of the affection or because of the carrot, I don't know. But I feel that it's because of the affection of me. It was really a lovely moment for me. And even though at some point of time, I will be looking into the video, whatever they have sent on that day. That's a really a proud moment that I could actually be with these people. So. Yes, that's really nice. You're sharing beautiful memories with us. That's really nice. They are evergreen in your memory. And the way you've explained it and shared it, like I could visualize all of it. The way, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they, are, they were carrying you and how you used your laptop. How did it come on the screen? The joy in your general manager's eyes and all of that. I could just visualize all of that. You've explained it so vividly. That's wonderful. Dear sir, your favorite quotation? Honesty is the best policy. Be honest. That's really nice. You were ready with that answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, in my on. house also, I have uh, one uh, calendar where only honesty is the best one you serve. Another one is self uh, uh, service is your, should be the pure bottom. There's another one. Two things will be there on the table. That's nice. Sir, if you were given a task, we give you a time machine and we ask you to click the button. And when you click it, that takes you into the past era. This is just an imaginary question. You are taken, uh, transported into the past era where you have to go and relive somebody's life there and come back as a part of the project work. Whose life you'd love to relive? See, generally, today, whatever, whenever I think, I will be thinking the word of Dulkar. Why I think about Abdul Kalam is not because of his uh, earlier period of the president. He was very close to the students. 
children right children students and extempore speech these are the three things i actually look into in him and i also feel that i should be like him i want to be with children i want to be with the students i want to be talking more or giving some advices or giving some lecture teaching etc to to my varieties and like him i should also follow his own principle that is what my present today think and i feel rather i am actually moving the same path rather because of course he was doing it at a higher level and i am doing it at a lower level but i want to be with children i want to be the students Yeah. Yes, sir. yes, sir. that's really nice. Thank you for sharing. And you remembered uh, Abdul Kalam, sir. That's really nice because he loved children and you also love children. You have a lot of passion and sharing your knowledge and wisdom with all of the little children and as well as college students as well. That's really nice. Now, sir, imagine if you meet the Almighty and or some of them call it as the universal energy. And if you were to get... a boon or a gift from the almighty or the universal energy and had the choice to select it the varam what would you select what type of superpower or gift that you would ask from the almighty every day my prayer is only one thing anayasena varana vina daivena jeevitha means i should not give trouble to anyone like that my death is like that is the varam present day i require that's all more than that i don't require anything yes whatever it is as on date i am fine i should not trouble anyone i should not also be troubled i should not get pain health ill health going to hospital then this etc all those things should not be ah yes in our mind bina daivena jeevitha they were that god is there i will just simply will pray all the time i will pray frankly speaking whenever i go for a walk i will not go in a group i will go alone not that i don't like social gathering i will be only chanting gayatri mantra Only Gayatri Mantra will be going on chanting. My number, I know how many Gayatri Mantras I be doing it. Right? And one number means one minute. Like that, it like. Hence, Amaya says, "Man, no, Dina, Dina, they even give to they even to me. I will just ask you, God, you please give me this. That is what there is a mantra is there. The same mantra I will be at least a minimum of half a dozen times. I will be telling before God, after that God, wherever I stand, even now you are asking, I am doing it. That is the only vara which I am." I seek from the God, and I expect it that it should be like this by life. Yes, sir. that's really nice. Like not to give anyone any trouble, not to yeah. take any trouble from anyone. Live and yeah. let live. Lots of peace around you. That's wonderful, and that's really nice. So there are still several questions that I need to ask you, but I'm sure you will give me your time once again. Yes, you have already shared a lot of your time today. It is really, it is really great. I wouldn't want to let you go off. now and you uh, bring an end to the session but i respect your time sir uh, it was really really wonderful talking to you getting to know you because very inspiring personally like when i go into your life and to see how you overcome all the challenges all the incidents that you've shared with us all the anecdotes you've shared it was so genuine that you shared all of them all were genuine sharings excellent before we end the session we have a small segment called as the rapid fire round Uh, it will take another 10 minutes sir would you oblige for the ra rapid fire round sir before that shall i tell one more thing yes please see i also go to some world age books and that because other viewers also looking into just i want to world age books the concept there is artha mata pata artha means play mata means talk pata means singing a song see the three people are there We have to make all the people to participate. Either they have to talk, or they have to play, or they have to sing. See, that will actually energize them. Does see in a old age home? Okay, food you are giving, they are still giving some TV. Somebody would have donated. They will be seeing. There will be <laughs> some energy level should also flow. Means when you go there, when we go there, we should actually talk to them. Ask them to talk. Or whatever it is, them tell me whatever it is. Again, you are asking me my experiences. I am telling whether it is useful or not because I will be very happy to share. They will also share something. They somebody some person may be there to sing. Okay, good, good. I will let them sing. Let them 
some four five people who want to play, let them play. Like that, you are actually that day when you go there, you should make them to understand that this is a particular special day. It is not normal day. Immediately they will see by seeing our faces, ah, like that they should like that is how you should actually encourage them to have their life. See their life, people feel that is going down by down. Sometimes we should actually give them some type of energy. This is what I just wanted because you said rapid fire. I thought I can just add this also so that we can go for rapid fire. Rapid fire. Yes, so. that's really wonderful. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you very much. Could you repeat that once again, like Ata, Pata, all of that? Just can you just repeat that, please? Would you mind? Ata, Mata, Pata. That is Telugu. Ata means playing. Mata means talk. Pata means singing. That's wonderful. That's really nice. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much for adding value to this session. Thank you so much. Now, friends, we go around on this beautiful session called as the rapid fire round to get the like to get to know the likes and dislikes of our celebrity and guest. He is Mr. K. Ramesh Babu, a wonderful person, down to earth, practical, disciplined, honest, a great humanitarian. Sir, your favorite color? Earlier it was blue. Now it is uh, methi. What is that? Pinu uh, Greek seeds. My. I like that color very much. Like little yellow, yellowish. Nowadays, brown and yellow mix, I think a little like. Huh? Brown and yellow mix. Yeah, yeah. Something See, like blue, that. I felt those days that it is the executive color. And then it's always I used to have only blue, almost blue, white, gray, blue, white, gray. That's what entire my service I used to have that one. Nowadays, as you said, that brown and yellow mix, I, I am liking. It's a liking color. The name of your favorite teacher? I remember almost all teachers because my mother was the same school. I remember even I remember the primary school teacher also, Mr. Srinivasan and uh, Padma is my teacher those days. And uh, in my school, all teachers are known to be my school. But I like liking means one uh, Mr. Ramurti. See why I like him is as I told you with regard to all competitions, I used to go to him. See, those days and all, this internet and all is not there. And we have to go to library and to get everything. And he used to give a lot of inputs for any of the competition, whether English or Telugu. He used to write and give or he used to give the inputs. Now, now also, whatever we did competitions those days, my sister wrote in a book that book is with me only. For what competition, what is that we actually talk? What is that we have written? The essay competition is, I am having in my own. My sister and I left it and I am keeping it here. That used to be the input used to be given by given by Mr. Ramurthy. So he's nowhere now. And he is my God. It's really nice. That's really nice. And you still have the record of all of it. Yeah, other teachers, of course, I know almost all teachers because my mother was there only. And of course, slowly people are leaving the land. I think almost all left the land. And you know what I like about your mom, sir? Uh, your mom, she did not do the paper setting. Yeah, yeah. very really strict. like that. Very strict. It's not nowadays teachers. She was very strict. She was not correcting. She was not pushing uh, uh, papers. She was never to that. Very nice. I like this attitude. Yes. I guess that's what you got down from your mom that, uh, yeah. you know, being very honest, focusing on honesty. Yeah. Very yeah. transparent. Yes, sir. So, how would you explain a beautiful day, a wonderful day in just one word? This moment? The present. Present day, all my earlier memories sharing with you is the best moment. Because normally, we forget everything. We will not talk. Daily, routine, normal things go on. But actually, we have lots of things in our head, which will never come out. <laughs> which will never come out. And the, when the days pass, the, even if I am a general manager in the bank, I was a general manager in the bank, our people will talk only today, yesterday. And again, and now even at home, we don't talk all 20 years back, 30 years back. You actually, actually removed several of things from my mind. I am really grateful to you. But I am grateful to you and also to your organization. Beautiful day for me as on day is this particular moment. This 4.30 to whatever time it is. I am very, very happy. Yes, it has. Several things have come out of it. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you for saying that. It really means a lot. Thank you very much. Sir, what's your favorite food? Food, see, generally I am not a foodie. Uh, in case of snacks, I like pakoda. Otherwise, uh, our food, I don't have much of the preference of the pakka, vegetarian food, whatever it is. And that. But in case if I preference is given with regard to snacks, I prefer it for pakoda. And the sweets, because I am a diabetic, I am not permitted to take. Though I like to take it. But otherwise, the sopopadi is my favorite sweet. Again, here I go back to my old days. Yes, now you calling me and see my journey in the bank. One examination passing, second examination passing, getting increment, third examination passing, getting increment, fourth examination, getting, getting increment, promotion, one giving increment, like that. <laughs> Whenever I got one success, my staff members in the branch, or staff members in the office, whatever it is, there will be some celebration. By it's not like this present day hotel going under some sweet and kara. One coffee. SKC. That's what we call sweet, kara, coffee. SKC. We used to give to all the people. Somewhere we purchase, we will Always, my, in case if I am giving the particular party means, always will be so company. That's the, that's the love which I have. Whether I am having it or not, I will actually share their sales to all of them. Yes, sir, I get that. I get that. That's really nice. So that's really nice. Now you mentioned tea or coffee, like you mentioned coffee. Yes. Ah. Yes, KC, that is sweet, kara, and coffee. coffee. If I were to give you the option of tea and coffee, what would you select? At home, I take tea, but generally I prefer coffee. See, why again I tell you? When when we moved to Delhi. There we were not getting good coffee powder. Till then we used to have coffee at home. When we were not getting good coffee powder, we won't get, but good tea powder we used to get. And we moved to tea, and always from then onwards we are having actually using tea only. But if the all occasion is there, and if at all like you, somebody asks me, do you prefer now coffee or tea? Immediately it will coffee will do. So. Yes, sir. Yes. So are you a good cook as well? Do you know cooking, a life skill? I am a very, very good cook. I can cook everything. Now I am not doing okay. Earlier days, both of us tuck, 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 cutting, cooker, cleaning, cutting, all those things. Nowadays, she also she said, no, no, era pizza, I will prepare. And only some days she will say, no, no, today you put kara, you put salt, this uh, your taste will be different, my taste will be different today. Lot final touches you only do something like this. Otherwise, full cooking, maybe but not other day I'm doing, but not regularly. But other days, earlier days, because both of us used to go to office, almost 50% of the cooking job is mine, 50% of the cooking job, yes, you have. Then afterwards, <coughs> carriers for her, for my son, for him, all those things. The drama and all went on. Yes. Yes, I'm a good cook. The best now that you remember me... tomorrow, I will cook. Yes, yes. Please go ahead. You are sharing something. No, no. Because now that you remember me, tomorrow I will cook in my house. Tomorrow I will tell my wife that don't cook, I will cook. <laughs> That's really nice. That's really <laughs> nice. So, your favorite recipe that you can cook very well? Gongura pachari. Wow. There's a gongura one uh, uh, leafy set. With that, they will use chicken. That I like very much. That's really nice. You'd like to spend time near a beach, in a forest, or near the mountains? Beach. Beach, beach. Yes. Sir. Water, so, I really love. Uh -huh. That's really nice. So, uh, like you like now socializing or me time? Would you like now, now at this present moment, like? Post retirement, is it socializing or more of me time or a combination of both? See, basically, I am a key talker. And then, so nowadays, whenever a group meets, they would like to have things. That is what 
time observing. Maybe all the court retirees now they have sufficient time. Hence, I am little away from that. And the ends most of the time because I am busy on my own ways. But the me time, okay, yes, I agree. But the socializing means I have my own portrait of people. Nobody. Near relatives, very friends, very close friends. With them, I will be very close. Hence, I don't say that I am a socialized person. See, I take people along with me, I told you. That small coterie, they feel my presence. Whether they feel my absence or not, or I don't know. But when I go there, whoever feels my presence, with them I will be very comfortable. And I will be socializing myself with them. But otherwise, I prefer the me time. But with some coterie, yes, I can socialize, comfortable. Because of the territorial line and the vegetarian, non vegetarian issue, somehow I am keeping uh, some distance with something. Yes. Sir, till date, the best gift that you ever received? My wife. Very romantic. <laughs> very romantic. Okay, that's really very, very cool. <laughs> I guess she will be very happy to hear this. Usha ma'am. Yes. I guess she too is very lucky to have you in her life because you're one great person, like very disciplined and, you know, well focused on your life before retirement and after retirement. I mean, you're one great person. I mean, anyone would be lucky to have you as a life partner and the luckiest one is Usha ma'am to have you as a, uh, you know, life partner for life till date. That's wonderful, sir. That's nice. Dear sir, one last request, sir, before we sum up the session. I'd like you to share three magical words or three powerful words to empower us. Apart from please, sorry, and thank you. We always put in a little request to our celebrities and guests to share with us three magical words. You've already shared a lot of, would like to add, it's like cherry on top. You know, I would like you to add that special uh, gift for us in the form of three words. Again, as I told you, a person should be very much disciplined. Discipline and punctuality should go together. You have to plan. See, when you plan, you should have two. Plan A and plan B. Plan B should not be divulged to anyone. That is my experience. You should have plan A. Plan A can be told to all people because people have to take that plan for forward. For that plan, you should have a commitment. See, you can't just plan and keep it just like that. The commitment level should be very high to reach the target, whatever you are saying. Why I am telling that plan B should not be diverged? You should always have plan B. You cannot just have only plan A in case plan A fails. Them. At that time, you should not feel bad. And you should always have a plan B. But if you diverge plan B, your supporters may not do plan A and they may wait for plan B to do, number one. Number two, <laughs> for the next task, for the next task, this plan B may become plan A. I don't know. See, each task differs and we have to take some decisions at the time. And for the next task, this plan B may become plan A. And hence, you should not divulge plan B, but you should have plan B. And so without planning, you can't reach any target. And in case you have a goal, Reduce the goal with one, two, three, four, five, depending upon you, the size of the problem. And then individually you focus on that. Don't put stress on any of the things. Calm and quiet will actually take the things forward. If you feel stressed among yourself and you push stress on your people, then things will not work. If you pat them, you can do wonders. If you shoot them, you cannot do, you, you cannot move one person for that. That is what my thing is. You take with them, yes, there will be failures. You also, there are several weaknesses are there. In them also, several weaknesses. As a leader, you have to lead them and tell them, this is how you have to go. People are there to give you support. We have to take them with you. Commitment should be there. For anything, anyway. You commit, in case you commit, you have to actually do. For that, planning is important. For that, 
Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for the beautiful, uh, the set of beautiful words that you shared with us and explained it also very well. You focused on discipline. You focused on punctuality, planning. You focused on planning A, plan A and plan B. You've done that very well. And you focused on commitment and said, yes, you have to be committed. Once you've, the planning is done, you have to show commitment towards that plan and focus on it and be ready for the change. Shift from A to B, it could be. And you also focused on staying calm during stressful situations. You've given us so many gifts and so many takeaways. I wouldn't want to let you go still, but yes, I respect your time, sir. Thank you very much. You're one awesome person I've met on this platform called as the International Fab Talks. Thank you very much. Looking forward to many more interactions with you. I'd like to thank AK Jagannathan, sir, for yeah. sharing your contact details with us uh, such that we could connect with you and have a wonderful session and an inspiring one at that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Namaste, sir. Thank okay. you. Yes. My dear friends, with this, we come to an end to the International Fab Talks for today, dear friends. Do us a small favor. Share this wonderful video with the right kind of people who would like to be inspired by the right kind of uh, people with the right wisdom that they have gained through all of their experiences they've had till date. Share the video such that it should reach a large amount of people, especially the youngsters who are giving up easily on life. Life is not easy for any one of us, but yes, how we go forward in our life, what decisions we make, what choices we take matters the most. And of course, stay calm when you're under pressure. All will be well. Stay blessed and stay safe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. Stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks to all the technical people also who have supported us. Thank you.